Hello everyone and welcome back to Whiskey Wars and to episode 2 of the Neck Pour. So episode 1 was the Jameson Single Pot Still Whiskey, bottled at 46%. Many people refer to that as a baby red breast. Um, so that'll be a, my, the last video that I've done, um, if you want to check that out. But today we have an Isla Whiskey from um, somewhere that I've not tried one of their whiskies before. I've never had a Port Escape. This is going to be the Porter Skeg eight year old and it's going to be bottled at 45.8%. So I'm really excited to, to try this one. So it's going to be an Isla whiskey. And as you may know, I love my Isla whiskies. So this is a very exciting video to record, to be honest with you. Okay, let's open it up. I know as always, I do this for my full reviews anyway. I never look at uh, notes for the nose or the taste I just kind of wing it and uh, it seems that a, a lot of you agree with some of the notes that I talk about which is good it means that I'm not going senile oh good I thought this was going to be one of those fake corks it's not it's a real cork and that was a good pop okay getting good amount of peat through on the taste oh it's a nice clear liquid I, I would assume this is not coloured this is probably going to be natural coloured. I wonder why they've not put it on the label. I'm so sorry, guys. I, I seem to have gone blind. I've just realised. So with the colour of this whiskey, I was like, there's no way that's coloured. Um, and I've just seen on the labelling that it does say non-chill filtered and no added colour. So it is also non-chill filtered, which I know will please a lot of people out there. To me, that doesn't necessarily ruin a whiskey for me. Um, there's plenty of chill filtered whiskies that I really enjoy. But it's nice to know. Okay, so I'm thinking about in the future doing this with, I was when I bought it, I thought this would be a great Lagavulin 8 review. The Port Skeg 8 versus the Lagavulin 8 because they are situated quite close to one another. Very strangely, I'm getting similar characteristics. I can't talk too much about that for now. It's just a little hint. I think that's gonna be a good review to do. Very peaty, but very excitingly, this is very iodine forward. This is very medicinal. Yeah, think Band-Aids, TCP, I see, I, I love that sort of note in a whiskey. You can't have it in every whiskey, of course, it, it'd be too boring. It's not the saltiest of, of uh, Islas either. Um, there's a little bit of a sweetness coming through, but I can't put my nose on it just yet. It's peaty, yes. But I would say the strongest note for me is medicinal notes. That's exciting. Okay, Port Skeg eight-year-old on the taste. Ooh, full of flavour on the taste. The nose was hiding quite a lot. This is the initial pour, uh, mind you. But that nose was a lot more subtle. I was getting, of course I could get vegetal, earthy peat coming through on the nose, smoke, but a lot of medicinal qualities and a bit of sweetness. The taste is a little bit more salty, but still has a sweetness there. I would say that sweetness on the nose is gonna come across as a little, little bit like a melon for me, like a green melon. A little bit woody on the taste, wood spice. Salty and sweet, beautifully combined here, with also wood spice. That medicinal quality it's not quite as strong as on the nose. I think this, this whiskey is a success so far. I like this whiskey. That medicinal quality is starting to come through a bit more now. All I can say as, as of right now, it's a nice blend of, on the taste, of salty and sweet. Vegetal earthy peat and medicinal qualities. TCP, Band-Aid. They're the notes I'm getting, but they're the notes that I like. 
I think this whiskey is going to be an interesting one. Very happy with my purchase. I'll quickly touch on the price. This whiskey is available for around £45 in the UK. I, I, I think it's worth the money, so far at least. I think that's worth, worth £45. Um, I'm going to be drinking this a little bit more in the coming months. And uh, there will be, I think the perfect review is going to be the Port Escape versus the Lagavulin 8. I'm really excited to shoot that video. So if you're excited to see that video, please leave a like down below and please consider clicking the subscribe button down below. It really helps the channel out, really helps it grow. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you all for the next Whiskey Wolf.